And cases of gender-based violence are still growing massively in Nigeria, from forced and early marriages to physical, mental or sexual assault on women. To this end, a group with a vision is uh, rather a vision to eliminate this menace has called for a swift response to violence and effective prosecution of offenders. Correspondent OHSC Ngozika has more for us. It's a two-day capacity building workshop, and the focus is the rule of law, as well as defend mechanisms for victims of sexual violence. Some people are under the misconception that domestic violence is just physical, but section 18 of that law takes the case to educate the victims and those who are The training is for rule of law institutions and um, basically yes, like, just like you said, it's a two-day um, workshop and so far it has really impacted everyone who has been here. Um, a lot of people are actually um, unaware of the um, extent to which this violence against women and girls is eating deep into our society. Um, we have learned um, the laws, particularly here in Lagos State, that have been put in place, laws and policies put in place, you know, to tackle uh, the, 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 the pandemic of uh, sexual gender-based violence. Guest speakers also address the rules and responsibilities of law enforcement agencies in the prevention of gender-based sexual violence. Gender-based violence are human rights violations. Are, are criminal offenses and enshrined under the constitution of the country. Criminal law may also take that in persons from the provincial law enforcement and then the revisions of 2005 and 2015. So law enforcement agencies are duty bearers and obligated to promote and protect these human rights and all activities undertaken by the different agencies must be designed and implemented with this understanding. The facilitator of the event urged the participants to implement what they had learned from the workshop and teach others how to protect themselves. Gozika or HSE for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.